Let's check those running back rankings, those dynasty running back rankings, and the changes since the draft. Next on FFT in five. What's up, everybody? Dave Richard, along with Heath Cummings, we're talking about running back rankings and dynasty. Who's moving up? Who's moving down? Let's start in Philadelphia. Everybody wants to know about those running backs and who the best one to have is. Is there a best one to have when it comes to dynasty? Heath Cummings? Well, I would definitely rather have DeAndre Swift because while they are both injury-prone part-time running back, Swift is at least 24, whereas Rashad Penny is 27. So even if Penny does have one good year, you can't feel confident in him going into next year. Swift still has the ability to increase his value. They're both fallers. Swift now at RB7, 27. He was at RB5 a year ago. And Rashad Penny at RB36. Real quick question. You can give me a yes or no answer on this. If I'm trying to win now, and my plan was to offer a late second-round pick for Swift, and a third round pick. This is in my rookie only draft for Penny. Is that a good move just for this year? Yes. I or don't no? think there's any chance you're going to get Andre Swift for a late second round pick. But yes, it would be a great move if you could get. If you can do that. it, you I, th- can do I think it. Swift's still going to cost you a borderline first. Wow. Yeah, that's too much. I can't do that for Swift, knowing that one bad year in Philadelphia and that might be it for him. All right, let's go to Chicago. They drafted Roshan Johnson. They added uh, Deontay Foreman in free agency. Khalil Herbert's the one that we've been talking about for over a year. He is now the time where he's going to break out or all these other running backs going to hurt his value. Oh, the other running backs are going to hurt his value. I think Roshan Johnson is a better pass catcher than Herbert is. And I think that Deontay Foreman is just as good of rusher. So I'm very worried about the three headed committee there. It's funny. Khalil Herbert was RB 40 a year ago. He got up into the thirties over the last few months. He's back at RB 40 right now, fell right back to where he was a year ago. And he's going to be sharing in Chicago. There's no question about it. It's just a matter of who he will be sharing with. Roshan Johnson, a second-round pick in the rookie-only draft we did on the FFT Dynasty podcast earlier this week. What about – I'm going to throw you a curveball here, Heath. Leonard Fournette still isn't signed. Ezekiel Elliott still isn't signed. I mean, they've got to be falling in your rankings. Should Dynasty managers still hold on to them? And I'll throw one more name in there, Kareem Hunt. What's going on with those three? They rank from RB 42 through 48. I'd absolutely want to hold them because it's possible that one of them is a starting running back at some point this season. It's possible one of them is a starting running back week one. We don't know what's going to happen between now and then. I think they're really hard players to sell or buy because there's such a wide range of outcomes. Would not be surprised if one of these three backs never produces top 30 running back numbers again. Would not be surprised if one of the three ends up in a spot where he gives you a top 20 season this year. I'm just holding right now to see where the land spot is would sell at the first good news if i'm not a contender that good news could always come in august the running back goes down a gm makes a phone call and boom leonard fournette's in a great spot we saw that from fournette a couple of years ago kind of hurt the upside of one ronald jones if you guys might recall not that i have any hard feelings about that that's going to do it for this edition of fft and five thanks for watching thanks for listening thanks for subscribing thanks for following thanks for everything for heath i'm dave talk to you soon